so one of the biggest challenges that a lot of people who are looking to go into amazon kdp is that they are not able to create an account successfully and that is because after creating an account you're required to create a two-factor authentication but the issue is that a lot of them are not getting the otp that is being sent to their mobile phone numbers and then they find it hard to create the account successfully and how can you actually um, you know start amazon kdp business if you can't even create an account right so in this tutorial i'm going to be showing you what exactly you need to do a new method that you need to use that you can actually use to get the two-factor verification code so that you can be able to create your account successfully all right so you want to watch this video until the end to see the new trick that i'm going to be showing you to do in order to get an amazon kdp account successful so in this new method that we're going to use you're going to be downloading two apps on your mobile phone right so the process is going to be done on your mobile phone right so the first app that we're going to be making use of is amazon shopping and the second one is the google authenticator right so i've already downloaded this from my apple play store so if you're using the, um, an android phone of course you're going to be downloading from your google play store right so just come to um your play store and then type um or search for amazon shopping right amazon shopping i already actually got it on my mobile phone so i just want to show you how it looks like so amazon shopping so um and then google authenticator okay google authenticator app so this is the particular one you're going to be uploading to your mobile phone all right so after you've done that the next thing we want to do is to create an account all right we want to create an account with this amazon shopping so the whole um point is the fact that your amazon shopping account can also serve as your amazon kdp account so we want to use the google authenticator to you know get that code that is usually not forthcoming whenever you try to do it from the web all right so what we're going to do is to create an account i already have an account though but i'm going to be using an in an other email address to do this all right so um i'm going to be entering him and the name i'm going to be using is cecilia nuhu all right so All right, so I'll go on to click on verify email and they are going to be sending an email to um, this email. So an OTP has been sent to the email. So I'll just come, I'll just go to the email and I'll copy it. So the email is actually logged in on my laptop. So I'll just copy out the code and then I'll click on create your Amazon KDP account. All right so i can create the email um verification code is not the problem it is actually that you know the, the process of setting up your two-factor authentication authentication where you now have to get um the code sent to a mobile phone that is where the problem usually comes from but this time around we are not going to be using we are not going to be using um a mobile phone we are going to be using an authenticator app right so the next thing we want to do is to come to our account our amazon kdp account and then we'll go to um where we have settings so our settings and privacy let me locate that place sometimes it can be hidden but let me just try and locate it okay okay let's see you just bear with me your account okay so i think it's um login and security so i'll go to login and security then um we're going to be turning on two-step verification right so this is what we want to do so i'll click on turn on and then two-step verification settings require a password and an otp to sign into your account so the reason why you actually need this and the reason why amazon kdp is or amazon generally is so concerned about this is because it's an extra layer of security that you know ensures that your account doesn't get hacked and all that so why do i need this passwords can get stolen especially if you use the same multiple password for if you use same password for multiple sites adding to step verification means that even if your password gets stolen your amazon accounts will remain secure and all that and all that and all that so we'll just click on start said all right and let's see what happens next so um if you are actually doing if you're actually on the web you would not have the option to use an authenticator app i'm not setting do 
but i'm sure it doesn't give you the option to use an authenticator app but regardless so now that we are here we are going to be using the authenticator app right um so authenticator app generates otp using an application no network connectivity required so this is where we actually need a uh, google authenticator and i'm sure you've already gotten it uploaded on your um on your mobile phone right so i'm going to be clicking on it and before i go on ahead if you're new to this channel please do not fail to subscribe to our channel as we um create videos like this showing you how to make money in the online space and how to do it seamlessly all right so a lot of people having having this issue and this is us you know creating a video with an hack that you can actually use to bypass that issue that headache that you've been having with creating an amazon kdp account so what i'm just going to do is that i'm going to be clicking on authenticator app right so rather than having a one-time password texted to you every time you sign in you will use an authenticator app on your phone to generate an otp now there are actually two methods to do this or um four methods actually or whatever okay so it says open your authenticator app add a new account the only okay so this this method um this method where we are going to be scanning we don't want to do that we want to use this authenticator key so it says to add an account manually we want to do it manually we don't want to use the um we don't want to use this code like this scanning code because if we now need to do that we'll now need another mobile phone to do that but this is what we want to do to add an account manually type the text code below into the app all right so we are just going to copy this code um we'll just copy this code and then we will take it to good right so um okay so i'll click on add code okay so we want to enter this into um boots where it says accounts and key right so we'll click on add and this um this code is very 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 time sensitive so you want to ensure that you copy it immediately they send it to you all right so oh my god it keeps going off okay two zero six four eight eight two zero six four eight eight so let's use it two zero six four eight eight then we'll click on verify cp and boom we are almost done um so almost done say suppress otp challenge during sign in you may suppress future otp challenges by selecting don't require otp on this browser as long as the otp suppression cookie is present a sign in form that a sign in from that browser or application will require a password no this option is enabled separately for each browser that you use whatever 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 so um it says don't require otp on this browser so if you don't want them to require an otp for any time you log in using this browser you can now um click on this and then turn on tp verification and let's see what happens next okay you've turned on two step verification all right um so that is basically it right that is basically it so you can see now that we didn't had the issue we didn't had the issue of you know having to you know amazon kdp having to send the otp and then you know to a mobile phone and then we're not we're not receiving it so the next thing we are going to do is to log into this account from the web all right and i'm going to my safari browser on my iphone and then i'll type K um, amazon uh, kdp or kdp.amazon or whatever so i'll just type kdp login and i'm going to be logging in with that account that i've just created on my amazon shopping all right so um let's see so i'm looking for the sign in okay what is this about Okay, so this is basically my i guess my own amazon kdp account or just the interface but i'm going to be clicking on sign in and then let's see sign in so i'm going to be signing in with those deals i just created so welcome to kb kindle direct publishing so um i'm going to click on the sign in button and i'm going to be logging in with the details i just created so I agree to their terms of service and then let's go on to 
um okay okay so it keeps showing me okay it's showing me my own account right like my personal account so i'll just click sign out so that i can sign into this account i just created right All right, so um, right here, we're going to be entering the email address for the new account I just created, which is a new who says at gmail.com, right? Mm, okay. At gmail.com and then the password. So let's see. Um, I'll click on sign in. Okay, I keep mixing the password up. All right, so um, like I told you, they would actually require this OTP whenever you're logging in from a new browser. So let's go to our Authenticator app and copy code that you're going to be sending to us, all right? 051061. 051061. Click sign in. Okay, all right. So you can also click on don't require OTP on this browser. So if it's going to be the main browser you're using to log in all the time, you can tell them not to require an OTP so that you can always log in directly without, you know, going through the hassle of getting an OTP and all that. All right. So that is basically it. The how to create. Um, okay, this this should be network issues. But once you've created the account, you know, using the process I've just shown you and you've been able to log in on the web because, of course, you can't upload books from Amazon Shopping. So you have to go through the web, right? So once you've um, successfully logged in, that is not all. That is not the um, the entire sign up process. You would still have to, you know, complete some information and all that, like entering your date of birth, your bio data and all that. Now, when you get to the payment part, you might have a little confusion if you're still new to Amazon KDP you might have some confusion with you know entering bank details and all that <clears throat> so um in the next tutorial we're going to be doing we are i'm going to be showing you how to create a pioneer account or how to create a grid or co account so that you can get um your account you can get the account that is the us account that you would be sent your payment to you know when um, once you start to make money with amazon kdp all right so you'll be needing a us dollar account where you you know your payment will be sent to and that is what we are going to be looking at in the next video so that's why you want to see um subscribe to this channel and also turn on the notification so that you will be aware when, we are, um, when i'm going to be posting that video video and other similar videos that are going to be helpful to your amazon kdp journey all right so and this is where we're going to be drawing the cutting today in this tutorial and i will see you in subsequent videos bye for now